Hello everyone, my name is Yili. Today we are going to talk about regular expression matching, which is a tense question on Likode. Given an input string S and a pattern P, implement regular expression matching with spot for dot and star. So let's first look at what's the definition of dot and star. So for dot, it means that it's a wild card. For example, if we have string AA, and then we have pattern a dot that will should return true because we can substitute any letters we want for this dot and then we can certainly substitute a in this case okay next one is star what does star mean star means that you can repeat this number any number of times you want a any number of times you want so if string a b c we have pattern c star a b c we still return true so that's a definition of regular expression Okay, so let's look at an example about how to fill in a table. So I got string A A A C A A B and pattern A B star A star C A star dot. So I already write down three rules to fill in this table. Let's look at why they make sense. Okay, so no matter what our table looks like, the first entry zero zero should always be true. As a base case, what does that mean? It means that string is empty and pattern is empty. The origin will return true. Okay, so for this column, it means that the pattern is empty, but string is not empty, like except the first entry. So it will always return false intuitively, right? It will be false, 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 false. False. And then for first row, it's almost a similar story with an exception, some exceptions. Okay, so for the oldest letter, it should be false, 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 false. We also treat dot as a letter. And then for this star, we look at two positions beforehand. So if that's a false, it's a false. If that's a true, it's a true. The reason behind this is that think about when we have empty string, but we have pattern like A star, B star. So it will return true too, right? So when we see star, we look at two positions before, oh, we see that's an empty and we can match an empty string. So it should be true. But here we don't have that case. So luckily for us, it will always be false and make our life easier. Okay, so let's try to fill in other entries. For entries 1, 1, we see the letter as A and the pattern as A, so they are the same. So look at rule number 1. When SR equal to PJ, we treat this entry's value equal to its diagonal value. So that's true too. So this one's true. And then the letter is A, but the the like uh the pattern is B, so it's different, so it will be false. And then we mean the first star. So when we want to look at stars, we say that T I J equal to T I comma J minus two. So it's a true here, so it will be a true. What does that mean? It means that we have pattern A B star and then have string A. So we do not use, need to use this letter with a star. So we can just like omit it and then we we'll use our string matches our pattern. So that's case one. So if ti comma j minus two is true, we we'll stop here. If that's not true, it's another story. Let's continue and see. We will we will omit it eventually. Okay, so a is equal to a. So we look at diagonal is false. So it's false. And this is star again, but this one is true, so it's true. And C is different from A, so it's false. 
it is the same so it look at diagonal is false and then aha this is a star so okay so we got two entries before as a false so condition one fail and then we'll go through the if statement if tij is not true right now and pj minus i is like so we'll look at press one entry look at if that's equal to a so we know that we might need some 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 a for a star not like just like empty string for a star we cannot just omit a star here so what we're gonna do is like we're gonna get rid of this string a letter a and then to see whether there's a matching or not okay so let me be more clear so right now the string is a the pattern is a b star a star c a star and then right now what we're doing is that we just gonna substitute a with the empty string so now we know that we might not need if there is a matching between this empty string and this p we know that there is a matching between a and a star because it's just a occurrence of a right with, uh, this directly translates to the upper entry for this empty entry so this is false so unfortunately it should be false and then we make a dot dot we can treat as same as the letter for this row and then this is false because this diagonal is false here you can see that I already fill in all the table entries so what we're gonna look at is the uh, the bottom right entry so if that says true the algorithm should return true if that says false the algorithm should return false so you can see that from this process we slowly build up from short strings to longer strings from short patterns to longer patterns in order to solve these questions great now let's look at the code okay so let me try to write this question with you again so first we're gonna initialize a dictionary and then we're gonna put dictionary 0 comma 0 entry equal to true as we discussed before okay so now we're gonna fill in the first column range of that's that's it's gonna be dictionary s plus um x plus one comma zero to be false right and then we're gonna fill in the first row so if p of x is equal to some kind of star we know that dictionary for 0 comma x plus 1 should equal to dictionary of 0 comma x minus 1 right else dictionary of 0 comma, comma x plus 1 should be false okay now let's try to fill in other entries for x mean range of less s for y in range of less p if s of x is equivalent to p of y we know that dictionary of x plus 1 comma y plus 1 should be equal to dictionary of x 
comma y, right? Else if uh, actually here we should add another condition all p of y will be the y card equal to dot else if uh, we need a very interesting case called star then what should we do okay so first step we should check for given the value x plus 1 y plus 1 it should be equal to dictionary of x plus 1 comma y minus 1 and then if dictionary of x plus 1 comma y plus 1 right now is not true then we look at whether p of y minus 1 is equivalent to s of x if that's true we're gonna look at the above at entry x comma y plus one oh it's either equivalent or p of y minus one is equal to uh y card right if all those situations not right we know that it has to be false x plus one comma y plus one equal to false and finally we should just return dictionary for less of s comma less of p great yay try to submit yay we got it okay so what's time complexity if uh, it should be o of m times n so that's space complexity because uh, let's say the length of string has m is m and the length of pattern is n we're filling a 2d table which is which exactly has m times n entries so both time and space complexity should be equal of m times n that's it this question is very famous. I think I look at the company tax. It's like interviewed by Google, Facebook, Uber, Twitter, and Airbnb. So they are all big names. So probably should study this one too. Okay, thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoy it.